Hello everyone, it's Rory Pratt from Pratt's Pods. Uh, happy Saturday. So I haven't done a video in a while, we've just not had the time. I'm hoping to get back onto them a bit more to be honest with you. Um, but I just wanted to trial something um, and thought it would be a good time to do it on video. Um, and let's see how this goes. So I have here an Apple Watch. Um, now we've been doing Apple Watches for quite some time. Um, this Apple Watch I have sealed up with just the glass, um, no touch, no LCD or anything. I've done this for a reason. Um, I'm going to trial a water test on it and see how we get on. So um, this one was dead, it's one we've got for spares. Um, it's got a sticker on the back, let's just take that off so it doesn't make the water go all nasty. Um, and yeah, let's see how this goes. So I've got a glass of water and I've got an Apple Watch. And I just want to put the watch in the water. And what I'll do is I'll try and make it so it's facing the right way. Because for me, I'm very interested to see if any water actually gets in. So I'm going to do a few tests. This one I'm going to leave for an hour. And we'll come back to it in an hour. See if there's any water in it. Um, and then I'm going to trial it for 24 hours. And see what happens. Um, now I never guarantee any water tightness on watches. Or anything. Because we don't believe these things are waterproof. But I want to see how close we actually do get. Um, there's a lot of speculation about how waterproof Apple devices are. And I know for a fact they're not. Because we see so many water damage. But I'm going to leave this in the water. Um, and see see if it fills up and I'll do another video when I take it out back with the watch again we're going to see how it's held out let's give him a quick dry and From what I can see, it's totally dry inside. I'm going to stick it in now till the end of the day and see how it holds out. It's been in there about an hour and a half. And it's now been submerged just under five hours. Give it a dry wipe. And we are dry internally. Look at that. Now, I'm going to leave it for two days. See where we go from there. So, we've now been in the water since Saturday. Today is Tuesday. If I can get him out. We'll check him. So, this has now had a full <coughs> three days in a glass of water. Full three days. So, I personally would say that that is long enough to know if this thing's going to uh, leak at all. And looks like we are totally dry. So, don't get me wrong, we don't say Apple Watches are watertight after repair. We don't even say they're watertight before repair. This one is watertight. I'm still don't believe we can uh, guarantee any waterproofness, but we are pretty bloody close. Um, so that's yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Back for the last time with the watch in the glass. 
if we get this one out, we'll give him a clean if I can get this one out. Here he is. Give him a quick wipe. So we have with this one, we've put some hot water in it to see if temperature makes any difference and stuff like that. And thankfully, we are still bone dry. So we're thinking of the next step. I think we're gonna try salt water next and then we'll go from there and see what else we can, can put it in to try and stress this thing out and try and get it wet inside. And that is us. So I did decide the next step with this one is gonna to be to beat it up a bit and see if it still does the same with water resistance. So I do wonder how water resistant it will be after it's been worn and bashed around a few times. So hopefully by hitting the edges we'll break the seal a bit and prove that it's not going to stay water resistant. But we shall see. I'm going to try this, I'll leave it in the water again overnight. We'll come back to it tomorrow and we'll see where we go. So there's that. Go back in and we'll see how that holds out. I wonder. So yeah, we'll leave that in there overnight. We'll come back to it in the morning and see what happens. So we're back with the watch in the cup. Um, so it had been five days, and then yesterday when I left, we decided to beat it up with a hammer. So I'm going to fully expect for this thing to have leaked now. Um, but let's check it out and have a look, shall we? Get that water out of the way. Give him a quick dry wipe. Uh, and let's see. Let's see if he's held out. I'll be very surprised. <clears throat> Look at that. Somehow, he is still bone dry. I am very surprised at that. So now, I think we're going to try some salt water and see how it holds out in what should be some very abrasive water because I was totally expecting that to have leaked after beating it with a hammer. That's very surprising, I'm very happy about that. So we'll see where we go next. Hello everybody, it's Rory from Pratt's Pods. I just wanted to do a quick talk through of um, the watch in the water. Um, so we have had that watch fully submerged other than taking out for a few seconds to check it um, for a week now, just shy of a week, a few hours less than a week. Um, and it has held up. We have then beaten it with a hammer on the edges to really try and warp that frame and to cause some kind of crack in the seal. Um, and then we left it in water for 24 hours and it hasn't broken the seal, it is still bone dry internally. Um, so although we do not guarantee water tightness on watches or any other device, and we do not believe that they were waterproof before you bring them in for repair, um, we say that because if you drop a device, it will damage the frame or the housing or the screen in some way. Once that has been compromised, there will be breakage in the seals. Um, and once that seal has been broken in any way, you are going to get liquid leaking through it. Um, unfortunately, I tried to prove that by beating a watch with a hammer, um, but I didn't get to prove that to anyone because the seal stayed stayed, stayed tight and no, no liquid has got through it. Um, so although I can prove that we do do an incredibly good job of making things watertight, I still can't guarantee it. Um, Apple can't even guarantee it. They they, they recently lost a lawsuit. Um, so, so walk through of what we've done. We have fully submerged that watch for a week. Um, we have beaten it with a hammer. Um, we've submerged it again for another 24 hours and it has not um, not leaked at all. Our next step is salt water. Um, that's going to be the next step. Um, and then I think after that we might try something like Coca-Cola, uh, something more abrasive. I don't know. If anyone has any ideas, please put them forward because we are trying our hardest to make this watch, watch leak now. Um, 
I want to prove that these things don't stay waterproof. Um, and if I can't prove that, I'm going to really kick myself. Um, otherwise, I might have to start guaranteeing it. So any ideas, guys, would be much appreciated. Cheers. Thank you. That's Rory Pratt from Pratt's Pods.